This is ANN News Brief. Good morning, I'm Lucy Adeyemi. The 14 confirmed new cases of Ebola virus in North Kivu, northeastern borderlands of the Democratic Republic of Congo, are the largest one-day increase since the current outbreak was declared in August. The more than 700 confirmed and probable cases are more than 400 that in the eastern provinces of North Kivu and Ituri are already the second largest in history. The last time the country experienced higher numbers was during the 2013 to 2016 outbreak when 28,000 cases and 11,000 deaths were recorded. Health officials have faced difficulties controlling the current outbreak, which has become the country's 10th deadliest since 1976. Widespread militia violence has made timely response difficult. The South Sudanese government says it has no money for the implementation of last year's peace agreement. The country's foreign affairs ministry said on Wednesday it wants the international community to fund the process. Foreign Affairs Minister Den Dang Deng told diplomats in Juba the young nation lacks the capacity to fund the implementation, especially transportation of troops to cantonment sites. The country says it has just one and a half million dollars to implement the agreement. South Sudan says it is now asking for international help because many countries, including the United Kingdom, Norway and the U.S., are now skeptical about the workability of the peace deal. Stay with us, we'll be back after the short break. <sighs> this used to be me. But that was before I got the perfect bag. It's handy and easy to use. All I need in one compact space, just like my MTN Extra Value Plan. I used to get one plan for my calls and then try to remember which data plan worked for me. Roaming was a totally different ball game. Not anymore. I've got the MTN Extra Value All-in-One Plan. If you're a data buff like me, you get extra data with some talk time. And if you like to make calls, you get extra talk time with some data. And when I'm abroad, I automatically browse, chat, and call right on the same plan. MTN Extra Value was made just for me. More of data or calls, whichever one you prefer. MTN Extra Value is made just for you. China has condemned so the social unrest taking place in Zimbabwe and has called for a national dialogue. Chinese ambassador to Zimbabwe, Hong Ping, says strikes and vandalism will not eradicate challenges. He said only dialogue will work. Ping said China is a serious investor. He said his country is not the one described in negative sentiment by some observers. He outlined some ongoing Chinese projects in the country and described Chinese people as action people. Some of the Zimbabwe projects being handled by China include a Fernand plant, new parliament building, a lithium project, and a cigarette producing project. That's ANN Newsbury. Thanks for watching. For details on these and other stories, visit our website, nnafrica.net. Also, join the conversation on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash nnafrica tv. I am Lucy Adeyemi.